Well, I don't know, y'all. Sure looks like rain in them dark clouds, though. Yes. Let's hope so. We need it so bad. Seriously. Bonnie was out gallivanting. All right, we're going to the post office to mail some product that people bought. So, I have some pretty big changes coming up. Um, I am finally going to have some of my hats and some shirts for sale soon. Got a whole new thing, whole new website, whole new everything. And you know what? Also, it's very scary. It's very scary. You know what's scary? What's scary is putting yourself out there, one, on a YouTube channel. Yeah. Big fears. Every time I hit upload and then I make it public, I feel like I'm, I'm putting a piece of my heart out there and it's scary <laughs> because I don't know because you just never know how it's going to be received and um, you just hope you're, I hope I'm putting stuff out there that is encouraging and entertaining and has some purpose, you know, so that's scary. Starting your own business and putting yourself out there through art whether it's through photography or designs that I'm gonna be putting on shirts or hats and all that, all that is very scary for this girl too. <laughs> so, but in almost 41 years I've been here, some things I've definitely learned in the last several years, few years, two years, one year, has been that we never know until we just try something. And I have to just keep reminding myself, like, what's the worst that can happen? I'm out of a little bit of money. Nobody buys anything. I stop. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> um, or it goes well. Or I learn from mistakes and try to do and put out better things than I did in the past. So, yeah. I don't know. I just felt like sharing that. I feel like I'm not alone in these types of struggles and fears. It's not even a quote, but it's a fear. It's like a true fear. <laughs> and it can be paralyzing for some people and it has and can be paralyzing for me at times. But when I push through and just put it, put it out there and just do what I feel like I'm being called and led to do and following the pursuits and passions of my heart, then I, I feel like I'm doing the right thing, so. Maybe somebody else needs that pep talk. If you're in a place where you're struggling to do something and you're stopping yourself from doing it out of fear, huh, do not do that. I'm telling you, don't do that. Don't let fear win. Mm -mm. Do your thing. Do it proud. Do it well. Adjust as needed. Just keep going. One foot in front of the other. Okay. I'm done. Uh, one more thing, and don't you worry. You will be the first to know when the new site is live. <laughs> it could be visited and things could be purchased. Because yeah, babies need boots. No, I need boots. I need boots more than my babies need boots. So yeah, I'll let y'all know. And thank you for all of those who've been asking, when is your hats gonna be available? When, are, when am I gonna be able to buy stuff? Soon y'all. Same. So, why did you do this? When you back up to the Auger to get close enough for the grain to go in there. The frame wants to hit the plastic tub. Now it'll shoot it out over so you can back up and it'll shoot it out over. You even painted it state red. Now the rest of the wagon. 
call it a wagon or trailer? Wagon. Now the trailer needs to be painted. <laughs> going to see what's going on. I think the combine is getting a little facelift. Well, floor lift? We'll see. Happy girl. Just happy to be here. Me too, girl. Out with the old and with the new. Ah. Scissors. I think scissors are gonna make that job a little easier. Maybe. Well, maybe he's doing better with the knife. He's almost done now. Oh well. Mm. Nothing's ever easy. need that. Better be safe than sorry. You not burning over? No. Yeah, that worked. Comes all nice. Yeah. Well, lights. What'd you say? So Gil, if you just pick that field before you break down, I'll be fine. Yeah. Got new floors, new floor, new floor covering. Not terrible. No, oh, good. We need some rain, big time. Ugh. We're gonna check the moisture of the corn. It sounds like we might be getting pretty close to go time. Whoop, whoop. He wants to test a down ear and an up ear. This is a leather, this ain't a ear. Um. You want to have a ear. Leather now. Fancy. Fourteen eight. Fourteen point eight. You were close. This is the up ear. Uh -huh. So you tell me before, but I don't remember what's the difference. Most time when they're hanging down and dry, they don't want to stand up, but this is silage corn that don't want to hang down and start with silage variety. And lower, 14.4. So originally this was going to be silage corn. 14, yeah. Uh, correct? Yeah, it was. Silas variety. We had to cut the picking cone for silas. You remember? Yeah, I do remember. I'm just re remembering. Mm hmm. What was the second one? 14. Okay, 14. 14. Alright, we've come to the diagonal part of the field. Right here on the river.
so evidently he's thinking that I'm gonna drive the dump truck wagon it's not I guess people call it grain carts it's not a grain cart it's a dump truck I'm not so sure about that y'all not so sure about that so dump truck grain cart grain truck prep for corn harvest is going on right now and we got to put the sides on it so it'll be ready to go and it looks like we are t minus two days from rolling and luckily i just i found out that i'm not gonna have to drive it after all because i've never even driven it empty much less loaded and it's gonna have to go like 15 miles away so yeah probably a good thing and what i mean by that is that we're gonna have to we're selling some we're selling a couple truckloads right off the farm but then we're gonna have to store it we're gonna have to borrow rent excuse me someone's grain bin because we don't have a big one so that's that let's see what he's doing i see sparks Hot, hot, hot. So he's making a shoot to go on the bottom of here, just like he did on the grain wagon. Yeah. Okay. Because when the corn comes out of here, he says it hits this and bounces off. So this way, it'll come out better. Welcome to the county fair. <laughs> this is my girl. There's some happy kids right now. I guess it's worth the eight dollars a piece to jump. <laughs> sure it is. Hmm. Here we go. Top of the world. <laughs> this is my favorite, the Ferris wheel. Yeah, you can see everything. There's larks down there. <laughs> see the top of his hat? See his busted out elbow? No, actually, he's got a shirt on that doesn't have a busted out elbow. I'm not going to drop my phone. Not on purpose. <laughs> you don't like being stuck at the top? Oh, no, I like stops. it. There's Dan way over there. And our farm's over there. As the crow flies, only a couple miles. You have fun? Say that was a success. And looky there, y'all. Can't see it, can you? Big, bright, almost full moon. It's actually waning, but anyway. <laughs> that was fun. So maybe not really. Actually, it was fun. All right, so now the sides are on the dump truck. Let's go and put the corn in. One day, one day away. Um, trailer's going up. And I'm in it. I'm gonna clean this out. So we can put corn in it. Well, that's about as high as it can get. I'm hanging on. <laughs> It's a little unnerving, I'm not going to lie. Done. Okay. Now, well that did pretty good. Just, it did pretty good. It's got a little more here at the bottom. You'd think I could just climb over that, and I probably could, but... 
I'd rather let him let it down. Gravity is a funny thing. <laughs> it works well. <laughs> I just saw one pileated woodpecker and I just heard another and I'm so determined to get one on video. Where you at, buddy? It's in there somewhere. There's a pair of them. I guarantee you, as soon as I turn this off, it's gonna go right by my head. If you don't know what a pileated woodpecker is, it's this really big woodpecker. It's as big as a chicken. I thought it was. First time I, um, saw one. I thought it was a chicken in the woods, which didn't make sense because we don't have chickens. But what happened first was that I heard it and I thought there was a person in the woods hammering. My husband explained that it was actually a woodpecker, a very large woodpecker. Day to be alive. Good day to combine some corn. Breakfast time. And they left their troughs in the same position overnight. That's amazing. Mm. Good stuff. There's a little panda. Cute as ever. There's little Bonnie. Cute as ever. Well, y'all, it's go day. It's go day for corn, and it's go day for this farm wife's new online store and website and merch and hats and t-shirts like this one. Farm hard, live well. It's a lot going on today. So, stay tuned for corn harvest. <laughs> For the gleaners, first real go the next two days. Hopefully nothing breaks down, and I'll be showing that in the next video. And right now, what you need to do is go to thisfarmwife.com and shop all the things, all the things, because <laughs> mama needs boots, like I said earlier. Ah, here we go, y'all. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I hope you like, I hope you like some of my stuff. And there should be a dump truck coming over that hill in just a second with my husband and my girl in there. I'm going to drop that truck off down here. Got one, what's that, three, is that 18 wheeler I reckon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Waiting to take a load. Somebody that's buying corn from us. Got our other truck. We probably won't need our trucks today, but we're getting them here so they'll be ready to go whenever they're needed. And... Here we go.